Just like that. Just like that. And just like that, we're back again. The final episode, I believe, um, Killer Frequency. Let's get right into it, right where we left off. I'm actually going to save it, though, because I didn't save it at the end of... Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. All right, we're ready. That was a nasty, like, in the middle of her sentence. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, my God. Welcome back to 189.16, The, the scream. scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Forrest, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, and Maxie's here, too. Okay, I, I got pissed for a second. I thought it was the pizza guy. I was like, please just... We don't need this in this last chapter. Good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Oh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little white wing halo number. Okay. Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween party. All right, everyone. Let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh? What's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right. They didn't. And All right, bro. You're one of those, to huh? Do tonight. Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Keep talking. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. Uh-oh, girl. Know? Ricky, please, what was her name? I never got her name, man. He just called her Bean. I, I didn't really know her before or, or see her after that. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time. And then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but... Uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And... Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad Ricky, person. Ricky, one of the coolest characters in the game. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but... Yeah. Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, ma'am. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. I'll let you to it. Ah! Night, Ricky. All right, folks. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. Hmm. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in, but hang on. What's up, Peggy? Peggy? You're gonna wanna take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. I don't like Peggy. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this.
Take it away. Dead air is a crime. Oh, I fucking hate you so much, Peggy. I hate you so much. The way you just waited that long to not say anything, then I open my mouth, and then you immediately try to talk over me? Make it happen. What do you want me to do? Make it happen. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Oh, you're such an ass. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. We're off the clock, ladies and Turns gentlemen. Thank God. Phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she... How the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Haven't we helped enough? I mean, now that you're back, can't you just... Forrest, ignore him, Leslie. We'll do whatever it is you need us to do. Right, Forrest? Thanks, Peggy. It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. I don't know. Is she really just gonna give up her location? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. That's nice to think, Peggy, but I don't reckon Dawn is gonna give up without a fight. She probably won't give up without a fight, no. Ah. But neither will we. Now, let's get you back into the arena, champ. Bringing you back Ooh, live. Ooh, that was a close now. one. Welcome back to the screen with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. I don't need that. Let's get it Evening, going. Caller, this is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Talk John, to is, is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. Hey, if yo. you haven't been there, then... God, I don't I even like want to think one. about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Okay, Jason. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but... John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. Okay. <laughs> take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. I'm guessing the 
whistling man is still out there? Yes, the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the whistling man, don't you? Yeah. I do. Can we talk about what happened earlier? Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is he alright? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but... This call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. But she sucks. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, and Jason. She's up to uh, some shit. Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. Talk about it, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like it never existed. Who killed George that night? <sighs> Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods. Have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the snap friend. The party that night I left the group for a second. And our whistling man pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, yeah. I guess George did call who her. Who is that? Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was. What? What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Oh, my God. How do we get it back on? Broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack? She was on the phone with someone like, yo, you better get here now. The shit's about to be over and we're all fucked. Nightmare. We gotta kill him. Fair point. It's, in the story it's a girl. It's, it's her. Story. Peggy's oh, the killer. You might have spotted it earlier when you were well, actually, that doesn't make sense because how could she be? She's in on it. Oh, I missed everything she told me to do. Head to the basement and switch on the backup power. I wish he said it like that. Could have hired him. Work with Clyde. Some sketchy. Bunch of, bunch of sketchy work, you know. I would have left so long ago. Is this not the basement? Or is like this the basement basement? Double basement. Oh! Damn, that's still open like this? We're cooked. I think... 
far back corner. Yeah, I think it's... Why is this station so big? Oh, it's a save icon. Get ready to jump, y'all. I'm for sure ready. I'm not gonna get scared, but y'all be safe. I need y'all to be safe. Volume up, y'all. Don't turn it down. It's not the way you're turning it. Turn it up. All the way up. That must be it. Boom! We've got power. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. We need to make it out alive. Crouching feels so much better in a game like this. Oh! Seen that episode of the hash slinging slasher when like SpongeBob got to throw away the trash and then he's like, wah, 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 wah. You get ready for that right now, right here, right now. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Wah, 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 wah. Peggy, are you there? Are you Peggy? I need to get back upstairs. We're dead. She was dead either way. I don't want anyone like, oh, you, you could have saved her. Now you want to say Peggy. No, come on, bro. to see what was in this room. Happy birthday, PG. Oh, Peg. Love M. Love M. She's all... Peggy. Where'd you go? You <laughs> I didn't like that. Um no way. This can't be happening. I got scared, y'all. I got very scared right there. It has to be Peggy and someone else, though. Uh, a call. Look, I said it was Peggy the whole time. Did Don press the Peggy button? Did she want me to hit it on my end? What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Boo. Ha. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. All right. All right. Let's. I'm happy to hear that. Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest the one who started it all uh, let me take that please no out of your mouth you crazy bitch let me go welcome to the air mr teddy gallows jr wait it's all gonna come out tonight teddy your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago but he really crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world wait where the hell is teddy 
How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Sorry, this this is a lot to take in. You've got no idea. Pause. So there were two whistling men tonight. Duh. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you say? Oh, hang on. Barrel? Then are you? Let me just get this mask off. Then what is Peggy a bitch for? Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Bloody went crazy wearing this. Uh, excuse me. There we go. So, Marie, Marie Campbell, George's old girl. Oh, well, it thank you, sure thank you. Has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it! Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. Okay. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give hey, you a yo. chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Honestly, I could care less. This is my first day on the job. I'm just gonna ask why. Why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Are you serious? You, you want me to interview you? Am I serious? After everything tonight, you really have to ask me if I'm serious. Uh... Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. Okay. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> what the hell? God damn it. I'm glad because I wanted her to punch him anyways. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just a night that Mooney went missing. But... Whistling Night is what they'd call it later. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. 
Rod, Marie. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. Okay, they did call him Long Runner Ricky. Okay. I helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So, I helped him keep himself together. You... You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. Idiot. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything. Damn, the plot thickens. He, well, it doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Hit him again, Marie. God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was wow. with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. A good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. I can stall for time here. Who was it, Marie? Who was the whistling man? I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck Brody was the whistling man. What the fuck? Laughing away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy! You better get George punched. fell off Whistling Point. What? How do you know what happened? I saw it. Messy town. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. That's not a joke. He had any brain Blood said, it's a prank, but the prank, that was the prank. Like, come on. He would have realized. <laughs> yeah, hold that. Hold that. Mink. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Yeah, I want to know this. If she's lying, why the cover-up? My future. 
was at stake, Nash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going yeah, you're about to get a bigger uppercut after course. after this sentence is done. And then governor. And then who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it did. But it was a mistake. And you suck. It was just a stupid joke. No one laughed. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? George was a blip? Fuck's a blip? The fuck is a blip? What is a blip? A bump? Oh, like a speck? You're just saying like a fucking like... Oh, bro. She's calling the, uh, uh, they're calling the dude who died a, a blip? Oh yeah, watch this. It wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... You never found his body, Marie? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Oh. Guess we'll never learn why she lied now. Everyone Sorry. was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... Fake report? I, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. If Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no, that coward killed the story. But Maurice Russell is dead now. When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. Never. It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met before he joined your football team. Yeah, Peggy just dipped. Was right after we don't know. He shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Hey, yo! Look at you! Come to this club often? Like, back the fuck up, man! Um, anyways, I'll do it like this. Where is Marie holding Teddy? Gallows Creek High in the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters. Yes, we're here. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Marie, where? Oh there go Peggy. Peggy! Teddy? You gotta help me. I. Yeah, Teddy, Quiet. GG. She'll be really mad when she comes in the next day and has no pens to work with. I'd never forget my own sister. You gotta be shitting me, man. We knew. Sister? What the hell? Someone explain.
Oh my god. Right? No, yeah, they're not sisters. They're fucking lizards. Exactly. Sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? want to explain. Peggy. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Yeah, a duh. Phone. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And you walk you in and it, oh my gosh. You found out. That my sister is. I guess she didn't know, but like still, no, nah, hell no. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me. I would. Come with me when we need you on the radio. And oh, I this job not that important. I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They don't want me to stay quiet. They only care when they learned I'd been with George. Yeah, and what the fuck, brother? It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Next best thing? Do you mean? Someone has to pay for what they did. Murray, please. Mom and dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? It's a... Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I. Well, I. I never forgot you. Well, no one's gonna forget now. Peggy, no! <laughs> yeah, well, fuck that weak ass card, anyways. Hey, Henry, I gotta be honest, bro. Good luck getting in this door. I tried many times during the game and I couldn't get in there. I tried many times. What are we gonna do? You're just gonna let me open the door now? Henry, you don't have to do this. Yeah, Henry, why do There's you just... still time to make the right decision. A screwdriver. <laughs> Henry ran like a fucking full blown hey, bitch. <laughs> Freeze. Boris. He said, Leslie, how's Peggy? She. Oh my god. Peggy, where's Marie? Gone. Bolted right as we got here. No, go get her. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. Wow. It's over, Forrest. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. Look, y'all. Everyone's saying I did bad. One, two, three, four, five, six deaths. I kept the. Would you? In the dead of night, I can hear you call. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, brother.
Bro, out of all the people, out of all the people, six is not bad. How many are there? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Minus six. It's like a cool, like, C plus. Maybe like a B minus, disc. I think it's like a B minus, disc. It was just a bad start. Exactly. It was just a really bad start. That's, that's all it was. What's going on in this room? Oh, there's flies in this bitch. Yuck. Right? 6 out of 22 is not horrible. Disc. Disc, y'all. Killer frequency is definitely disc. Let me bring chat on the screen. Let's, let's get your thoughts, y'all. Let's get your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Closing thoughts, if you were here for the whole series or even here for like the last episode, let them know on YouTube what you thought. Because um, I'll, why y'all are saying your ideas, I'll go ahead and say mine. Um, started off rocky. Damn near the mountains. Uh, I was in the mountains. It was so rocky, right? However, um, it seems as though um, when... I got about two and a half hours up that Rocky Mountain. I was actually able to appreciate the view. However, I didn't know I was rock climbing. So it's like I didn't have like, like all the supplies that I needed. So it's like, it's disc, right? It's disc. Um, for, the, for those of you that don't know what disc means, it just means decent. Um, I just made it up. It just, it just sounds good. Uh, regardless of all that hoopla, I'm just yapping about this game for me. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Maybe, yeah, yeah, like seven out of ten. Seven out of ten is cool. Maybe seven and a half. Just because it's like, I like to be like prepared, bro. And it felt like there's nothing I could do to be prepared for like certain decisions that I had to make like early on. You know what I mean? It's like, I loved, I loved the fact that it was like scary, but it was just like a story and then you're not having to play too much. So you're really able to immerse. But even in that moment, I still was immersed, but I was still like low key kind of confused. You know what I mean? Um, but I loved it. I had a great time. I definitely had a great time playing it, bro. Players club on Twitch. Y'all want to, y'all want to say goodbye to YouTube. Y'all want to say goodbye to YouTube. Yeah. We can close out this recording. Players, thank y'all so much for watching this series. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I have some news for y'all next month, but we're still going to be in October, so I'm not going to spoil the good news just yet. Um, but in October, I got some good news for y'all. We're going to be busy the, the next couple of weeks uploading, and that's about it, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys for everything for real. And I will see y'all in the next upload. Peace, y'all.